नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टाइप्स लाइक स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर और स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर और स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो दिस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स एंड वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इट विल बी वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व समथिंग लाइक दिस विच इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ लाइक एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस फाइव डी एक्स राइट so this kind of integrations we what we can do is we will try to derive the formulas for these and then we will try to utilize those concepts for solving this kind of questions so before that what you have to do is in our previous lessons we had you have to remember this that integration of 1 by square root of x square minus a square dx was log of x plus square root of x square minus a square similar to that integration of 1 by a square root of x square a square minus x square was sin inverse x by a and integration of 1 by a square root of x square plus a square was log of x plus square root of x square plus a square so using this methods we'll try to solve these problems okay <clears throat> so let us take first one so the first one is the question is integration of square root of x square square root of x square minus a square dx so what can we do here can we do one thing we can try to write it down as integration of square root of x square minus a square into 1 dx so we will try to utilize the concept of integration by parts so you already know what is the integration by parts formula let us say integration of u v dx was in u integration v dx minus integration of differentiation of u into integration of v dx right so this was the formula for my integration by parts so what we will do is we will try to take square root of x square minus a square as the first function and one as the second function okay so it will be like u and v so if we use this concept then we will be able to find out like this let us say we are going to get what we will be getting a square root of x square minus a square square root of x square minus a square into integration of 1 that is going to be x minus integration of differentiation of this one so differentiation of this is what a square root of something you already know that 1 by 2 root or 2 square root of x square minus a square and then we have to differentiate this so that will become 2 times x then integration of 1 will again come as x and dx so we are going to get as x square root of x square minus a square minus this 2 2 will get cancelled so i will get it as x square by square root of i will get it as x square by square root of x square minus a square dx okay now let me apply a method what we are going to do is we can write it down as x square root of x square minus a square minus integration of shall we do one thing like this that x square minus a square plus a square so what will happen is first term uh, this x square minus a square will be equal to this so we can divide one by one right divided by square root of x square minus a square dx so let us before that let us consider that this is my i okay so i is the integration for that we will write it like this x square root of x square minus a square minus can we write it down first one as square root of x square minus a square dx because this first term divided by this will give me only square root of x square minus a square plus one more term is coming a by square root of x square minus a square so i can write it down as minus a square minus a square integration of 1 by square root of x square minus a square dx now you already know that this was my i right 
so that implies i have i is equal to x root under x square minus a square minus this is nothing but i right the integration term because this is what we wanted to find in the beginning so same thing is appearing again minus a square into i already told you the formula for this one was 1 by uh, integration of 1 by a square root of x square minus a square so this is going to be how much this can be written as log of x plus square root of x square minus a square now if we take this i this side so we are going to get 2i and 2i so i will be this all divided by 2 so can we write it down something like this my i will be ultimately x by 2 a square root of x square minus a square minus a square by 2 log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus some constant c so if you want you can write constant here itself and then divide it by 2 because of this but that, that doesn't matter this will be the final answer okay similar to this we will take the another question so let us say the next question was the next question was integration of square root of x square plus a square dx so you already know that integration of i am going to write it here formula for integration by part that u v dx is equal to u integration of v dx minus integration of du by dx into integration of v dx ka whole integration okay so this is a formula that we will be using now let us consider <coughs> this is my i which is going to be equal to integration of x square plus a square x square plus a square into 1 dx so i am going to consider a square root of x square plus a square as first function and one as second function that u and v and similar to that we can solve it so what we can get we are going to get square root of x square plus a square into x right integration of 1 is x minus integration of differentiation of this so differentiation of this term will be what 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times a square root of x square plus a square into a square root of uh, like x square differentiation will be 2x into integration of 1 is coming again because integration of v is needed here so integration of 1 will be again x dx okay so x dx now we can write it down as x square root of x square plus a square minus 2 2 will get cancelled so we will write it down as x square by x square plus a square dx now can we write it down again similar to the previous methods what we did so we can get it as <coughs> x square root of x square plus a square minus integration of x square plus a square minus a square we will do so that it remains x square only right and then we are going to write it as sorry here it was square root so we will get it as this was a square root so we'll get it as here a square root of x square plus a square dx okay now you can see this term will get cancelled by this and a square root of x square plus a square will is a square will remain so we will utilize the same method x <coughs> x into a square root of x square plus a square minus integration of a square root of x square plus a square dx minus minus plus it will come and then a square integration of 1 by a square root of x square plus a square dx okay so this is nothing but your i right so this i can be written so what we are going to have is my i is equal to x square root of x square plus a square minus i plus a square and you know already 
द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर इज वॉट लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर ओके सो दिस आई विल गो लेफ्ट साइड सो इट विल बिकम टू आई सो आई विल बी होल टर्म डिवाइडेड बाई टू so with that i am going to get my result i is equal to x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus square root of x square plus a square mod plus some constant c so this is the question number 2 so hope you have a complete idea about square root of x square plus a square dx integration that is going to be this let us take the third one so the third one is we have the question was integration of square root of a square minus x square dx okay so if you want you can solve this question same way by integration by part but why don't we do one thing we will solve this question by substitution method okay so in substitution method what we have understood we know that let us say put my x is equal to a sin theta why a sin theta so that it becomes 1 minus cos square theta sin square theta kind of thing okay so what will be my dx dx will become a cos theta d theta okay so from here this is what we are going to substitute at the same time we can write it down from uh, this particular equation as my theta will be what sin inverse of x by a and at the same time what will be my cos theta and all those things we'll try to derive later but first of all we'll try to put this one so what we are going to get my i is equal to let us say this is my i so i is going to be equal to integration of square root of a square minus x square so x square is nothing but a square sin square theta and dx dx is what a cos theta d theta okay understood so with this we are going to get integration of you already know that a square can be taken out so that will become a so a into a is a square and 1 minus sin square theta is cos theta right so 1 minus sin square theta is cos theta so that will become again cos theta into cos theta that is cos square theta so i can write it down as a square cos square theta d theta okay so you already know why we are writing that 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta this is the concept that we are using okay now we can write down this one as a square integration of cos square theta you already know that this is going to be 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta okay so from here we are going to integrate this now a square by 2 into integration of 1 will become theta plus cos 2 theta will become sin 2 theta by 2 plus some constant c okay now what is the thing that we have here we have theta and sin 2 theta by 2 so we need to find out the value of sin 2 theta and theta so theta we have already found out before finding sin theta what we will do sin 2 theta what we will do is we will try to simplify a little more okay or if you want you can do one thing if you want you can do one thing that let us say sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta okay so that we already know so from here we are going to get it as 2 times sin theta is what x by a from here and cos theta is what you already know from here cos theta if you want to find out let us say from here cos theta if you want to find out what will happen cos theta will be equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta 
So I can write it down as square root of one minus sine square theta and sine square sine theta you already know which is x by a. So that can be written as x square by a square. So this particular value also can be put at this particular place. Or otherwise I'll write it down much more properly. Two x by a square into a square root of a square minus x square. So I am going to write sine two theta as that value. So by putting that, we are going to get it as a square by two into theta is sine inverse x by a plus one by two times sine two theta is two x by a square square root of a square minus a square. Okay, plus some constant c. Now this one can be written as a square by two sine inverse of x by a plus two two will get cancelled, so we will remain with x by a square. Wait a moment. Yes, so two two will get cancelled. So here actually I should write the bracket still. So here we are going to get it as a square minus x square square root. Plus some constant c. Now, if you take this a square by two inside, then we are going to get it as what? If you want, you can remove this bracket and we can put it as a square by two sine inverse x by a plus a square will get cancelled, so it will become x by two square root of a square minus x square plus constant c. So this is a complete solution for this particular integration type. Okay. All right. Uh, now, if you uh, if you have some questions regarding this uh, derivations, you can put down your queries in the comment box, and I will be able to answer you out. What we will do is we will solve few problems based on this question, uh, this particular type, in our next session. Thank you.